Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as everyone knows, earlier today, the club formally announced the signing of Trey Turner to an 11-year contract. And now we are very excited to not only welcome Trey to Philadelphia, but to introduce him as the newest member of the Phillies family. Speaking of family, I'd like to make special recognition of Trey's family that's in attendance here today, beginning with his wife, Kristen, and their son, Beckham, and Trey's parents, Mark and Donna Turner, and Kristen's parents, John and Donna Harabedian. Thank you for being with us. In a few moments, you're going to have the opportunity to hear from Trey, as well as Philly's president of baseball operations, Dave Dombrowski, and general manager, Sam Fold. But at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Dave, who's going to make a Jersey presenta presentation and some opening remarks. Well, Dave. thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It's a very exciting day for the uh, Philly, Philadelphia Phillies organization, our fans of the organization. Uh, a couple of things to be said uh, just before I get into that. I, I want to offer everybody here uh, the person doing the introduction here uh, had a very uh, special moment at the winter meetings, Kevin Gregg, when he was honored with the Robert uh, Fischel Award for Public Relations Excellence. So congratulations to him. Also, too, and as I'm sure the questions will come in, I do want to send a special, of course, thank you for the person that makes this most responsible happen and for doing what we're doing in our organization and supporting us every step of the way. Is, uh, our main person and individual from an ownership perspective is John Middleton. John, thank you very much. <laughs> and also, uh, I, before I get into the final one, I do want to thank uh, the people that really worked on this contract and, and made this happen. Um, from uh, Trey's perspective, um, we had a chance to meet his wife, uh, Kristen, down there in, in Florida, and Beckham also and uh, Don also. Um, but um, also a special thanks to the CAA group with uh, Jeff Berry, Andrew Nicario. Thank you for making this happen with us and working with us. So uh, without further ado, the uh, special time for us, we're very happy to add to me one of the best players in Major League Baseball, an exciting player. Uh, adds so much to our organization, well-respected. I can't believe the number of times I've had people, not only now, but over the last few years, and for me in my career, saying, geez, the most exciting player in baseball I ever watched is Trey Turner. Is there any way you can make Trey Turner a Philadelphia Philly? Um, and fortunately, um, we're at that spot that we're able to do it. Uh, we have some players in our organization that are very helpful in this regard. Trey knows them. Um, I'll let him talk as well as us about it. But a special moment for us to welcome Trey, uh, to me one of the best uh, players in Major League Baseball. Uh, of course, uh, shortstop for us. And uh, with that, also we are very fortunate because we also found out that the number he really likes is seven. Mm -hmm. So we were able to make sure that we uh, had number seven available. So Trey, welcome and um, welcome aboard here. Put this right front and center. How about that? Oh, yeah, I got a haircut today for for uh, for you guys. I uh, had a long month for me and Kristen, and uh, it's been a heck of a ride. But we're glad to be here, and, and uh, it's to these guys' credit, and to uh, the guys that you mentioned, John, my agents, and and all that, and my little one over here yelling at me. But um, it's been a heck of a month, and um, we're excited to be here. All right. Well, thank you, Trey. So, uh, members of the media, if you have a question, there are microphones on either side of the room. Just Hold raise on, your hand. Before we go. Um, I didn't know this many people were going to be here, so uh, bear with me. But I definitely want to thank, obviously, the people in this, this first row. Um, my wife, she's been, you know, every step of the way with, with us and our child and kind of holding it down at home uh, when I'm on the road and whatnot. So, um, she's, uh, 
She's a rock star, and um, thank you, love you. My in-laws uh, raised a great daughter, and, and you guys helped us out so much. Thank you uh, for all you've done for us, uh, especially you know this last month. Um, it's been tough, and then my lovely parents, you guys. Um, it's been a long time um, playing this game, and you guys have uh, brought me around um, to countless tournaments, countless um, venues to watch me play at all ages. And, um, you know, from starting when this kid and this kid's age in diapers and, and swinging, swinging the bat in the front yard to college to professional baseball and now to here, it's been, it's been quite a journey and um, you guys have been awesome. We, we leaned on you a lot in this, uh, this experience and we love you guys, so thank you. And, um, you know, there's plenty of coaches and training staff and uh, so many people that have helped me, my friends, my family from home, uh, my sister, um, helped me in countless ways through the last, you know, 29, 30 years, and um, they're important to me as well. So I definitely don't want to forget them. And um, you know, it's been a fun ride. We're excited to be here, and we've got a lot of winning to do, a lot of baseball games to play in the stadium, and um, hopefully many, many uh, good memories uh, to share with you guys and the Phillies fans and John and, and everybody. And um, we couldn't be more happy to be here. So thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, Trey. So why don't we start with the questions. We'll start in the back with Jimmy. Hi, Trey. It's been um, right here. It's been reported that you received uh, offers that were even richer than the Phillies offer, uh, but and you turned those down to come to Philly. What what made uh, the Phillies the team for you? What made Philadelphia the place for you? Uh, what were the attractions? Yeah, I mean, there's. I, I was lucky enough to have um, some good offers on the table and uh, tough consideration um, going through it. But me and my wife, we wanted to. Weigh all options, uh, try to take the process as serious as possible because we look at it as a partnership between, um, you know, whatever organization we were going to pick and, and, and our family. We were kind of looking at it as an all-in, um, you know, a long time, but we were, we were all in and, and um, you know, we sit down, we talk for a long time. Money wasn't, you know, necessarily the number one option for us. Obviously, it plays a part, but um, we just pictured ourselves here. We, we I pictured myself in this uniform. She pictured um, living here and, and having family come and visit. We pictured playing with, you know, Bryce and, and Schwarber and, and a lot of those those guys um, on the team now. Kevin Long. It just seemed like a lot of things added up um, and pointed us in, in this direction. And we were we were excited about it. This place is is, is fun to play. Uh, I watched a lot of the playoff games and, and this place was rocking. So um, just a lot of uh, things pointing this direction, and, and, and we felt really comfortable and really happy, and um, we were really excited about it. So um, a lot of things said. Okay, we go to Howard on the right here. Trey, uh, as a honest, down-to-earth guy, and I think that's who you are from everything I've read, the, the chatter in town is where is Trey Turner going to hit in the lineup? Uh, and... I know you have your thoughts, and I know you're going to share them with all of us right now. <laughs> One or two, and I know you're going to be really, really uh, truthful in all this. <laughs> well, I would say that's that's not my job. That's these guys' job. So I'll uh, and and Rob's job as well. So there, Rob. Um, that's that's on him. You're going to have to ask him those questions. But I will say, I did get a phone call this morning from Kyle Schwarber. And he asked me the same question. And I hadn't, hadn't thought about it much, but um, you guys got a pretty good leadoff hitter. Or we have a pretty good leadoff hitter in, in Schwarber. And um, I don't know. I don't know if he stole a lot of bases last year. He's kind of coming <laughs> around there. So I, I, I don't know if I want to kick him out of there or, you know, I, I don't know what it may be. But um, I think it's going to be fun playing in this lineup uh, up uh, from top to bottom. I think there's so many guys that can contribute. So I'm excited. Um, I don't really have a preference, truthfully. I don't really care. Um, but I'm going I'm to give uh, Schwarbs a hard time on that one. Where, where have you been the most comfortable in the lineup? Um, I used to lead off a lot the first five years of my career. But the last you know, two or three years, I hit second and third. Um, not much lead off. So um, you know, I'm pretty comfortable anywhere. I, I told them kind of in the process is um, I like hitting the same spot every day, trying to learn my job and who's behind me, who's in front of me. And, 
and all that, but um, ultimately we're going to have to get together and in spring training kind of make those decisions. But I'm all ears and um, just excited to be here. Thank you, and I'm sure Rob will dance around it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go to Alex on the right. Um, you mentioned watching the playoff run this season, and I'm wondering how much of a consideration that was in the decision that you ultimately made and what it was like to experience that. Um, yeah, no, it was a big factor for sure. I think um, playing on a winning team was, was really important and uh, an organization that wants to try to win championships for um, not just one year but a long time. And uh, John and, and, and these guys, Dave, have have committed to that, and that was that was a factor. So to go along with that, you know, you got to perform and you got to – live up to those those standards and uh, the boys did that last year for sure they were uh, playing really good baseball at the end of the end of the season it looked uh, not only fun for the players but for the fans that it seemed like um, there's kind of that family aspect um, and they were in it together and, and I think that was more what jumped out to me is how much fun the players were having and the fans together uh, than anything and you know you could hear it through your TV how loud loud the stadium was and um, I played here many, many times, but I don't know if I've ever seen it like that, and and rightfully so. I think uh, you know making World Series and, and playing at that time of the year is, is really important and really fun. So uh, it definitely was a consideration. One second, you mentioned Kevin Long and Bryce. I'm wondering how involved they were in this process and how often you were in touch with them. And yeah, um, Bryce texted me a little bit um, early on and told me you know I was or he was there for. For us, any questions? Uh, Kristen had been texting Kayla a little bit about that as well. You know what the lifestyle is like, all that um, things you can't really see, you know, on the field. So they answered a lot of our questions, and then the morning of, um, I called Kevin Long and I said, "What do we got?" And so I talked to him, and I still have questions about the hitting coach. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about. Let him. us know if you're comfortable. Yeah, or not. I don't know about that, but um, had a, a pretty go a good phone call with him and just what his perspective and. Um, you know, I think a lot of the things he said uh, matched up with what, you know, I believed, but it's nice hearing it from the inside. And um, so I talked to them quite a bit, talked to Schwarber a little bit, but they did a pretty good job of, you know, not trying to influence me too much one way or the other. And um, I think uh, it was kind of our decision. And uh, that's that, that was a, a nice aspect of it. And um, we're excited to join these guys. Okay. Scott on the left. Trey to, to Fendrick. Oh, yeah, Allie Kendrick, another one. Trey, to follow up on, on Bryce's um, influence on you, I mean, it's an 11-year contract, yep. so it's probably the rest of your career. He was in that position four years ago and chose a, a rest of his career contract with the Phillies. So did you kind of lean on him for, like, hey, if I'm going to make this decision to spend the rest of my career somewhere, all of my 30s, um, you know, I want to make sure it's the right place. How much did you really lean on him given the – the, the length of time we're talking about. Well, that, I mean, that's the kind of approach that me and Kristen took, or Chris and I took, is um, we were committed 100% to where we were going to sign. We weren't going to try to do a short-term deal or, um, I don't know, we weren't trying to get the most money. We were trying to, you know, kind of build a family and, and be, in a, be in a spot for a long time. So I know he went through that, um, and these guys spoke so, so highly of it here, not just him. But Schwarber and, and all these other guys, and uh, we asked those questions. We we looked at it from that perspective as well, and um, so hearing his answers, I think, were important because, like you said, he did same exact process. Uh, it's not fun, uh, by the way, and I didn't enjoy it very much. Um, it's it's tough process. It's it's hard on you, hard on your family, and um, when you're making that commitment, you want to you want to do it right. And uh, he was a factor. Um, and all of it, and, and um, you know, he kind of said the same thing. He said, I, said, I told you it wasn't that fun going through it, but uh, I think we shared a lot of the same experiences um, and, a lot, and share a lot of the same values and, and look at it the same way, and he was, uh, he was a good influence on me. And just for Sam and, and Dave, uh, when it's a contract of that length, how much do you try to dig into, you know, like the crystal ball of how, how someone might age over the course of, you know, 9, 10, 11 years in this case? Well, you do as thorough a job as you possibly can. There's no, it's not an exact science, but of course you look at that. We have a lot of people that look at that type of information. We really integrate all that information. Um, and you, you make your decision in that regard. Um, there's no exact crystal ball, but spend a lot of time doing that and looking at the individual and the talents that's involved. I do, uh, one thing I, I do think is that um, you sometimes have to differentiate between a normal, a normal big league player and an elite athlete. I do think there are some differences in that regard too. And we have done a lot of research in that regard. So 
um, an, an elite athlete can last longer at their performance level than, say, other individuals can. Okay, we go to Pat on the right. Trey, how you doing? Um, it's obviously been a sh short period of time that you've been here, but outside of the, the fan base, what is it that you know about the city of Philadelphia? Honestly, I don't know much. I, uh, I played here a lot, obviously, but I feel like there's so much more to explore. We've been driving around the city and I'm connecting things together. I, oh yeah, I know that place, I know this place. Um, had a great dinner last night and, and for us, we're pretty simple people, but we, we enjoy food and uh, I know this city's got uh, its fair share of good food, so it's gonna be finding those little holes in the wall and uh, places that we enjoy, but um, I, I got a lot of learning to do, I will admit, and I, I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited about it. Um, I'm excited about uh, sharing that sports complex with the other teams, I think that's a really cool, um, really cool characteristic of his city. I don't think that's always uh, the same in other cities and, and kind of sharing that sports atmosphere. I know this is a sports town and, and, and uh, we love our sports here. So um, I'm, I'm a football guy, I watch hockey, I, I like it all. And I think uh, that's gonna be another cool experience for me going to those games, basketball games and, and whatnot. And um, I'm looking forward to that. So uh, need to find the food spots, any recommendations I'm listening and then uh, sharing, sharing sports with you know everyone here. I think it's gonna be really fun. Okay, go to Tom in the back left. Trey, with the game of baseball changing the way it is, um, how important was it for you to find a place where you could evolve even as a shortstop because yep. of the, the shift and everything that's going on with Major League Baseball in the near future? Yeah, I think um, I learned a lot last year. I thought at shortstop, and I'm, I'm excited to kind of apply those things going forward. I think I, I have a lot of improvement at short. I think I can play uh, much better than I have, and uh, it's going to be you know putting the work in and, and, and actually doing it. Obviously, you got to... Eventually, you gotta you gotta prove it, or, you know. But I want to prove it more to myself than anything. Um, I think I could play at a really high level, and I think that that will that process will never end. I think I'll, I'll always be trying to get better, uh, especially defensively. Um, like he said, I think I could play for a long time um, using my athleticism and, and learning my body and, and all that. Uh, I think uh, we'll continue to get better, and I think that will help me there. So um, I'm excited about the future. Excited to get back on the field uh, from a defensive standpoint because. I think I got, I got more room for growth there for sure. Okay. You obviously have, you've obviously been in the World Series. How much can you add to what this team has gone through this year to advance to the next level? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, it's hard to win uh, that time of year because you're playing such good competition, right? But um, I think that the good teams I've been on, uh, we, we've loved each other. We loved hanging out. We loved doing things together. And, uh, those are kind of things I talked about earlier. That's what this ball club had. So hopefully from a baseball standpoint, I can obviously uh, add to it, I would I would hope. But um, but just from a clubhouse standpoint, I, I think I'll fit in great here and, and kind of continue that um, that chemistry that these guys had last year. I think that's really important. That's how, that's how you make deep runs. That's how you, you know, when you're not playing well in June and July, that's how you get through it is because you, you want to be together. So um, I want to add to the baseball aspect, obviously, but uh, I, I'm looking forward to being in that clubhouse with those guys. Okay. Matt in the back right. Uh, for, for Dave or for Sam, uh, I wonder how important that postseason experience that Trey has was in this process of identifying him as the, as the right guy to add. Well, I think it's extremely important. Uh, last year we, we focused on we had a talented group of individuals going into the 2022 season, and one of the goals that we had was trying to add somebody who had been through a championship uh, caliber team and won a world championship. And I think it meant a lot for us to bring Kyle Schwarber on board at that time. I think he uh, had a different perspective, not only from an ability perspective, but in the clubhouse. And Trey brings that same uh, same mentality. So I think it's extremely important for us to bring people on board when possible that have that championship caliber, that championship attitude, and, and the experience in, in winning it. So a, a big difference maker for us. Okay, Todd in the middle left. Hey, Trey. Um, we had heard from the beginning that you were the team's number one choice as far as the shortstops. And I'm wondering if you have any memory of early on in the process, hearing from Dave, Sam, anybody, Jeff, any, you know, about their interests where you went, wow, these guys really want me bad. No, yeah, that was the first meeting we had. Um, they came down to our house in Florida and sat at the table and talked and tried to get to know one another and whatnot. And, um, you know, I told them, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. And, and all I ask of you is you just be honest with me. Uh, I didn't really care to, you know, play the games and all that. And um, he told me right then and there was uh, that I was their number one target. He goes, 
you know, you're looking at other players, obviously, because they have a job to do. But he, he, had, uh, he had told me that. So, I mean, from right then and there, I expected them to, um, you know, come after us hard and, and, and uh, try to do everything they could to um, get us in a, in a Phillies uniform. And, um, you know, I took them seriously from, from the get-go. And, and uh, like I said, I just asked them to be honest with me. And, and they were, and, and um, turned out. And here, here we are now. So. And so I lose it. So when they leave your house and you talk to your wife, what's the reaction? Is like, wow, that you know, obviously you were impressed, I guess. But what was? Do you remember any part of that conversation? Well, I know my wife was very excited um, because uh, growing up in Flemington, New Jersey, is not too far from here. So um, from a family aspect, I know she was super excited. She, you know, she said time and time again that she was kind of leave it, leaving the baseball side of it up to me. So I'd ask the baseball questions and whatnot, but. Um, the family side was uh, was a lot of her doing, and we were kind of teammates in this. So, um, you know, we weighed all the pros and cons, like I said, and, and I think the family aspect was, you know, a big factor for us. And um, you learn that through these meetings. You know, you learn how much family means to um, these guys, to John, to Bryce, and, and Schwarber, and, and, and uh, other players with kids on the team. You go, you ask them about their experiences, and. Um, I remember uh, she was excited uh, very early on about about the possibility of this, and, and and so was I from a baseball standpoint. But you got to do your homework and ask your questions, and, and it added up. And how many other in-person meetings did you have with other teams? Uh, I had a few. Um, I don't know what I am, and I'm not allowed to say, or what, I don't know. I had, I had more than one, but um, um, I thought it was important because I, you know, like I said, I I wanted to do my homework. I wanted to find out, um, you know. What people are like, and, and get into a face-to-face -face conversation, and and uh, learn one another, and um, I think that was a, a big, uh, big plus for us in the process was sitting down with teams and, and uh, actually talking it through. Okay, Alex on the right. Trey, um, you mentioned that the team chemistry seemed really strong. I'm wondering what gave you that impression. Was it just something that you saw during the playoff run, or something that you heard from um, the members of the Phillies that you know? And I think it's more you can see it. I mean, you, it's hard to. It's hard to fake that, you know. So you can see um, guys in the dugout and, and, and on TV. Obviously, um, you know, you talk to these guys, and, and uh, Kevin Long, Schwarber, Bryce all, uh, all said how good the clubhouse is and how good the guys are. And, but I think you can see it from far, too, playing against them. You can see it, but um, you can see it on, on, on the TV as well. And um, it's very noticeable, and I think uh, it's, it's special when that happens. Um, it's hard. It's hard to do because every year, right? You like you think it's a new it's a new team, new players. So it's hard to do every year. But um, you know, last year I think uh, the guys definitely had it going on for sure. And then second, um, it seems like the plan is to move uh, Bryson Stott over to second, and I'm wondering if you've had a chance to chat with him yet. Uh, he messaged me on Instagram real quick, so I, uh, I I texted him my number and said, you know, if you need anything, let me know, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking in the future. So he just kind of said congratulations. He's excited. And, you know, for me to get over here. So um, I'm looking forward to meeting him, talking to him, and kind of sharing the middle infield with him. But um, I, ha I haven't got a chance to really sit down or text with him and call him or anything like that. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, Matt, back left. Trey, you, you know your body better than anyone. This contract takes you through, I think, your age 41 season. What gives you confidence that your skill set, you can aid, you can be a productive player into your 30s? Uh, why do you think it'll, you'll age well on the field? talk for a long time on this. Um, I don't know. I just, I bet on myself all the time. That's kind of why me and my family are in this situation is I kind of bet on myself every step of the way. And uh, I'm a competitor. I hate losing, whether it's, you know, a board game, whatever it may be. I don't like losing. So um, I think I'm going to compete for as long as I possibly can at the highest level I can. And, and I'll just bet on myself. Uh, every step of the way, and you know, I put effort into it. Uh, whether it's you know, in the weight room, the training room, the batting cage, wherever it may be, I put effort into it, and I take it seriously. So, um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't. I don't plan too far ahead. Uh, maybe even other than this contract, but I don't plan too far ahead. I, I try to focus on the day, and I think that, you know, focusing on what's right in front of you, I think, uh, will help you in that long run. So that's kind of how I view it. Anything additional for Trey, Dave, or Sam? All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dave, Trey, Sam. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. All right. Good job. Nice work. Cool. Okay.